we come today to honor and pay our final respects to Steve's hard drive. <laughs> it passed away after four short years of life. Oh my gosh, it's like, what? And it's so young. Go ahead. To be fair, Steve, that is about 40 years in human years. Still, he's so young. I can't believe he's gone. Well, now that we've paid our respects, I think it's proper that we have the reading of the will. I'm ready. Steve, I'm sorry to say you will not be receiving your collection of MP3s from the last 11 years. You will also not be receiving grandma's photos that were scanned in from the digital photo service. Those are irreplaceable. The collection of documents that you had from grandpa's library will also not be being replaced. You dirty little, I can't believe this. Your tax returns from the years 2002 to 2012, unfortunately have went with it also. You know, I'm kind of okay with that. So, sorry, go ahead. And I'm sorry to say that the book that you've been working on is also gone. I thought he was my friend. Was there anything that I could have done to prevent this? Well, Steve, now that you mention it, there was something you could have done. What was it, Tim? You could have gotten Disk Image. Of course. Program that's going to allow you to make a perfect copy of your hard drive in one file that not only could you restore just individual documents and files from, but you could have taken a brand new hard drive, put it into your computer, and in two simple clicks had every single thing, your programs, windows, your files, your documents, your pictures, everything onto that new hard drive. Where's, where's Disk Image been all my life? Oh my gosh. I think it's gotta be crazy for anybody not to have Disk Image after hearing that, don't you? Tim, why don't you show us how that works? I'm gonna go over to the computer here and we're gonna take a quick look at Disk Image. Disk Image could not be easier to use. Let me go ahead and show you a real brief walkthrough of why this program is the ultimate backup tool. Before I do that, let's go through a few basic concepts. First of all, we have here the imaging, which is creating an image of one or more of your hard drives. What this is gonna do is it's gonna let you select, for example here, I'm gonna pick disk zero, which is my system hard drive, my C hard drive, and see how this says system reserved here and empty region? These are all different little areas of your hard drive that the computer needs to be able to run. It's what's created when Windows is installed. Well, if you just do a regular system backup, this isn't gonna be there. You're going to need to install Windows first, you're going to need to reinstall a backup program, and then you're going to need to start bringing files back over and reinstall programs and reinstall all different downloads that you've done, find the serial numbers, hope that you even have those. This is going to let you make an exact copy and an exact image of every single thing on there. It is really, really simple. I've selected my disk zero, which is my hard drive. I'm going to click create and it's going to ask me, where do I want to put that image? Now I can store it on a whole bunch of different places. I can store it on those plug-in external hard drives, which is the easiest thing to do. I can go ahead and put it on my hard drive and then move it from my hard drive to a DVD disk. If it's a really small file, I can break it up into different files, but I'm going to go here and I'm going to select and I'm going to put it on my external drive. I've got a 250 gig and I'm going to name it backup 330-2012. That way I know this is from that date. I'm going to go ahead and click open and then if I click options here you can go ahead and add comments, you can convert the file, you can do a whole bunch of other stuff. We're just going to click start. And there we go. That is literally all I need to do. Let this run here. It depends how long it's going to take based on how much is on your system, but it's going to make an exact copy of your hard drive. What you can do here, and you're going to be blown away. I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to select image file. And this is an image that I made a few days ago. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click enable mounting. And what this is going to do is it's going to take my C drive and it's going to turn it into a hard drive on my computer. This is the most amazing thing to me. Because now, in a minute or two, what's going to happen is it's going to create the G hard drive on my computer. And I can go in there and I can click G. And this is literally all of the copies, all the files, everything that was in that image file shows up as a hard drive. So let's say I went ahead and I lost just one file. 
I deleted accidentally one of my documents. I need to get that document back. Well, I can go in here, I can go to users, I can go to my test PC, I can go to my desktop, and there's all my files on my desktop. Let's say for a second I went ahead and I lost this test scan file. All I have to do here is click the test scan file and drag it over to Windows. There we go. I just went ahead and restored that test scan file by just drag and dropping it. It's that easy. And the best part about this is, now once I'm done here and I close out this G drive, nothing's been changed. That file is still backed up. It's still inside of that image file on my hard drive. So I still have it later if I ever need it, but now I also have it on my desktop, which is where I needed it in the first place, where I accidentally had deleted it from. For making copies of your hard drive, let's say you wanted to upgrade from a small hard drive to a bigger hard drive, you click clone drive, you pick the hard drive that's the old hard drive, and then you go ahead and you pick the new hard drive and it'll make an exact copy. Take all that data and put it on the new hard drive. That way you can go from a small hard drive and add all that space to your new hard drive without all the trouble of reinstalling all your programs and messing with a whole bunch of settings and drivers and serial numbers and, and just insanity that most places will charge you a few hundred dollars to do. Wasn't that the coolest thing you ever seen? I mean, Here's the deal with a hard drive. They're mechanical devices, and as you know, every mechanical device is eventually gonna fail. It's just a matter of time. It might be today, it might be tomorrow, it might be three years from now, but the point is, you just don't know when this thing is gonna die on you. And when it does, disaster strikes. Yep. You're gonna lose everything, Steve. You're gonna lose your documents, you're gonna lose your photos, your pictures, your tax returns, your business records, every single thing that's been on that computer, gone in an instant. Right, now you have a choice at that point. Now if you have no backups, you're just out of luck. I mean, really you are. You're gonna to have to reinstall Windows and you know that most computers nowadays don't even come with a Windows disk. So you're gonna to have to somehow find a copy of Windows. You're gonna to have to figure out where your serial number is and that's just getting Windows back on there. What about all the programs that you've purchased over the years and downloaded? Where are all those? Well, they're gone too. Not to mention, like Tim said, all your documents and photographs and all that stuff. If you have disk image, if you have a current image and that hard drive goes out, it's not a problem. You go buy a new hard drive, stick it in there, restore the image, and literally in a matter of an hour or two, depending on how much data you have, you're back exactly where you were when that image was made. It's absolutely phenomenal, something every computer user absolutely must do. And the price is certainly right. We have probably the best price on the internet on this thing, so don't hesitate. Grab one today, and uh, thanks for watching.